Thank you. Good morning once again, sir. Good morning. I would like to also beg to stand on the existing protocol. Uh, it's, it's a privilege to stand before you, sir, and present our case as Nana for the Center and collectively as the response team to the states. So, first of all, I would like to appreciate you and your team members for all the efforts put towards ensuring that uh, our cases, cases referred to you, have been attended to in a timely and professional manner. And secondly, we also want to thank you for all the cases referred from your own ends to Nana Fajita Center. And we hope that uh, in giving or rendering our services, we have been able to offer to the best of our ability what we should, as stated according to our policy. So like the coordinator has stated earlier, from Nana Fajita Center was opened last year on the 19th of March. And uh, it was uh, a, a, an answered prayer for the Ministry of Women Affairs, Ministry of Health and other line ministries, and other CSOs working in the GBB sphere. And since then, we've been able to attend to 399 cases of different categories of GBB. We have domestic violence, we have rape cases, we have sodomy, we have battery, we have child abuse, to mention but a few. And um, out of this 329 cases, 207 are females, while 122 are male. Then, out of the total number, 329 cases, 274 are all minors. I'm talking about children, people below the legal age of 18. So that's to tell us that we, we, we have a problem in the state where children are undergoing abuse, different form of abuse. And these are just the cases that are reported. We want to believe that there are more cases that are not being reported. So we have an issue of under reports in the first place because of so many things. And one of the reasons is that the people of uh, Sokoto State, based on the conversation we've had with our clients, are afraid to approach the security agencies. And um, this is not to point a finger at civil defense or the police or any other security agency, but it's to say that maybe we need to make ourselves more approachable so that survivors of uh, GBV can easily have access to justice. If they believe that they are going to be heard, they'll be listened to and their cases will be attended to promptly. And secondly, the cases of um, when they come around, they start the case like he mentioned and then the processes are a bit tedious for them. You know, and you know, these survivors, they, they already have a problem. So if you make this, the, the procedures tedious for them, it cripples their faith in the system. So I am standing on behalf of uh, Partnership for Justice, Nana Fedija Center, the response team, and above all the survivors to plead on behalf of them that we need you to please come on board with us in order to handle the cases of GBV. And uh, in, an, in an effort to ensure that continuous support, because we are looking at sustainability, we work as an NGO. Tomorrow or next tomorrow, we can fold our tents and leave the state. But this Nigerian Civil Defense is going to be in Sokoto State. The Ministry of Women Affairs will be here. So in an effort to ensure that there's sustainability, we want to plead that these cases are looked into more properly and that the procedures are made less tedious for our clients or survivors to access justice. And second of all, one of the problems that has been confronting us from day one when we started work is the issue of justice. The cost of justice for survivors is so expensive. And I'm not even talking about the monetary terms. I'm talking about emotional, psychological, physically. A survivor goes through a whole lot to ensure that there's justice, and sometimes they give up because of the earlier problems I've mentioned. So I, I have come here to appreciate you personally and your team, and to also bring up this you know, few complaints so that we can look into it and see that the next time we have a relationship in this sense, it's going to be a smooth one. And at the end of the day, we'll be able to achieve the success that we all have prayed for. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Florence.